Hi guys, this is Thomas Simpson. I'm doing my presentation or my mini lecture on the process of listening and responding. Today I'm doing it in front of three of my friends. That's my audience. And I'm just pretty much going to be talking about the process of listening and responding and uh, the five basic steps that are involved with that. So the first step in listening and responding is selecting and to select is pretty much just focusing in on what the person is saying or that one sound that you want to listen to and getting rid of all those other myrate noises that are around you and just just pretty much focusing in on, on what you want to listen to. It's almost an innate behavior. We don't really have to think about it. We can do it um, perfectly fine. Like right now, the TV is playing and you could hear that, but you are choosing instead to listen to me and that is the process of selecting. Uh, the next step in listening and responding is attending. So it's, it's giving all of your focus or you, the majority of your focus to what is being said and being an attentive listener. Uh, many things that can keep someone's attentiveness is, is comedy, uh, conflict, things like that will keep someone's focus on what is being said. Cause it, it's, it's more interesting that way and even hand movements like that can really get a person to be attentive and attentive to what you're saying. Uh, and attending is the second step in the process of listening and responding. The next step in listening and responding is understanding. And to understand is to assign meaning to messages. And and understanding is really divulging that information, processing it, and then applying it to things that you have experienced before, or things that you have seen, heard, or, or maybe have even done before. Um, that's kind of the backbone to understanding. You have to know what the speaker is talking about you have to be able to find a way to relate those things in a way to you that makes sense so you can recall on that information next and that leads me into the next step of listening and responding and that is remembering and to remember is to recall information and be able to to call on that information when you need it. So when you remember something, uh, you, you might not remember every little detail about what the person said or exactly how they worded it, but, but you're going to remember um, the main points and, and the main focus of what the person was talking about. For example, in this mini lecture that I'm giving you right now, you may not fully remember every word I say or exactly how I said it, but you're going to remember, uh, well, I hope you remember the main points of listening and responding. And that's really the main focus of, of, of giving someone a presentation is to, is to get them to understand and to get them to remember because those things will go deep in your memory and that's pretty much how we learn. The final step in the process of listening and responding is to actual, actually respond to what the person has said. So lots of things people do is they give head nods, they give verbal cues such as, yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. Um, those kind of things can, can really tell if a person has been listening or if they understand what the person is uh, exemplifying to them. So. When you give a response, most most oftentimes people that are really listening are, are giving interactive uh, gestures with their eyes. They're they're attentive to what you're saying, and when you respond with word, it, it's it's normally someone who's been listening very well will give you a, a lengthy response or a response to the the person talking that lets the the speaker know that they'd been listened to and that they understood what they were talking about, and that's really important in uh, communication because without responding or rather responding incorrectly or in a in a sh different shady way kinda gives the the speaker the sensation that you weren't really listening to what they said and that 
that the important inf or the information that you gave to them was not important. That is the final step in listening and responding. Responding is selecting, and when you select um, on listening on something, it means you're getting rid of all the other myrate noises that are around you and really focusing in and, and honing your attention to that one thing. Like right now, you can hear the TV, but you're selecting to listen to me, and that is the process of selecting in listening and responding.